Hello. Whew. Getting dinner. But of course, Melissa influenced the, the events and took things too far and roped me into it. And now here we are. After what I've endured today, that squeaking <laughs> is the last thing I need to experience. Yogger. Stay That's high. what <laughs> Melissa sounded like drinking drinks last night at the bar. <laughs> yeah, and now you're going to behave, Yaga, right? And that's on who? That's on Mary Had a Little Lamb, okay? That's an alpaca, but... Oh. <laughs> Does, it's giving lamb. <laughs> just make sure we say thank you to all of you guys that are subscribed to us that come back watch us on a regular basis and then if you are not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button it's the least you could do thanks mm -hmm. so I know you saw that we're doing a little bread appy something very simple very quick because we can't handle much more than that right now. Like, we need to get some food in our tummies. And get get things going. Get our strength back. This is a no-cook dish. No cook. So simple. This is going to be your new go-to appetizer. It's going to impress everyone. It's perfect for any sort of Italian dish, but it really could go with quite literally anything. Could go with quite literally nothing too if you're just like want some bread and snack. eat something. You know, I wouldn't recommend that you just sit there and eat bread because we can't recommend you to do that. But I do that sometimes. But we can recommend that if you are going to sit there and eat bread, this is the better way to do the it. The way to do it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I personally love an oil experience. Like, you know, have you ever been to Bravo? Yeah, and they have the like. Oh my god, their oil is so bomb. Mm -hmm. You know what I bet we could throw into our oil? The Calabrian chili oil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I bet we're going to do just that. All you're going to need to do for this dish, well, I guess let's jump into what you need first. Yeah. I really am steps ahead. We're so scattered. So you're going to want your nice. Bread, we have just a baguette cut into some little slices, something easy. Now, for this, I would recommend just using fresh, soft bread instead of toasting it prior because when you're dipping in oil, you kind of want it to be we'll soak it up. Yeah, softer. You're going to need a very high quality extra virgin olive oil. I cannot stress this enough because I'm an olive oil snob. You really need to invest in a nice olive oil. Not only is extra virgin olive oil really good for you, but you can definitely taste a difference in the quality. Oh my god, he's attacking Melissa. <laughs> he wants some. He just he knows when jumped we're, on her. He knows when we're using quality ingredients. And oh that's yeah, that's can. it. That's, mm -hmm. that's the thing, yep. So we also are going to have a little bit of Calabrian chili oil. I'll probably only use a couple drops because this is hot. Spicy. And for me, I kind of make my own chili oil typically because it's not very common. You can find Calabrian chilies sitting in the oil. So what I do is I drain the oil into like a separate container like this and I do half olive oil, half sunflower oil in the Calabrian chili peppers and then let that sit for like weeks until it's ready for another extraction. So that's just a little... Okay. Tip. What's the reasoning behind the sunflower oil and olive oil mixture? I don't know, that just was what's in the jar as to what the ingredients were, so I just went with that. Oh, in the Calabrian chili. Yeah, in the jar, oh. I looked at what oils they used, and they used sunflower oil and olive oil, so... That was smart. I thought you just had, you know, your own rationale. Unfo unfortunately, I don't. So, the two oils you, for your spices, you're going to need parsley, oregano, basil. You can do... I have an Italian blend, but... I'm We're making probably, our own. Honey yeah, I'm teams. probably going to just stick with these three, and red pepper flakes, of course, very crucial ingredient. And the secret ingredient to really making this stand out. Also, I may add some 
S and P, salt and pepper, but that's gonna be a on the fly decision. S and P. <laughs> Freshly grated cheese is Oh my god, true. Sh I'm really getting concerned. <laughs> what? There's a demon that's invaded Yager's body. <laughs> He just lurched across the whole room, like, literally went from that end to the other in one motion. Like, I'm, I don't know how you're focused on this right now when we have a demon. A demon in the ah! Oh, my God. Do you listen to the madness he's causing? Oh. So the secret ingredient to the oil is going to be some freshly grated cheese. We're using Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. It can be kind of whatever. I use pi uh, Piave cheese sometimes, which I like. It's very light cheese. Mm -hmm. Freshly grated. This is, I already pre-grated to save us a little time. It's definitely a big secret. They would never look at it and tell that there's cheese in it. it what do you mean? I mean, you can see the cheese. It's not I, like you're. It's not like. No, a, I'm saying this is a secret ingredient to making a good, a good dipping oil mm. for bread. Not all of them have cheese in them. I'm telling you, the cheese is crucial. It's gonna make this fabulous. So, on that note, let's whip this baby up, please. So, all you're gonna need to do is take your high quality extra virgin oil, and we're gonna just do a good amount. Be oh. Because it's just me and him, I'm not going to do too, too much. We're not serving an army of people. And then, like I said, just a little itty-bitty drop. I would say that was more of a drizzle. Uh, an itty-bitty drizzle mm -hmm. of Calabrian chili oil. And then now you can really get wild with your seasonings. Really just add as whatever you want. Yeah, it gets so wild that you miss the bowl even. Season the countertop. You know? Season it all. <sighs> He's squeaking again. Ah. So I added parsley, oregano. We're going to move on to basil. And you really can make this heavy because you're going to stir it in. You want every bite to have a explosion of Italian flavors. So after you add in your spices, I would just do a little bit of salt and some pepper. And then take a little spoon and go ahead and stir all of these spices and herbs. You can add a little bit more olive oil as you see fit. Yeah, it's very herby. Yeah, we might need just a little dash more. Maybe a little more drizzle, too. Yeah, we'll do one more little drizzle here. Yeah, proportionally. Mmm. So once you stir this up, things are going to get really exciting. You're going to take your cheese and this is at your own discretion. However much cheese you feel is necessary. Melissa's going for like a 50-50 half oil, half cheese blend it seems. Mm -hmm. And look at that. Blends in. Just thickens it up. You have no idea. That, you know how you said they can't tell? They can tell there's cheese in there. You really can't tell if I'm being honest. As an expert bread consumer, I can tell because I, I also do this, so like I can tell the difference, you know. Everything, you know, needs a little dash of cheese. And honestly, that's all this is. That's all it takes. No cooking, no nothing. We're it literally here. takes 30 seconds in the real world. And yet we have it. managed to draw this tutorial out to 30 minutes. How dreadful. <laughs> so on that note, I guess we're going to dig right in. Or dip right in. And just like that, we're ready for our appetizer. I know, I'm excited. 
I feel like I haven't eaten in years. I'm ravenous. Mmm. And it's so good, and like I said, you really can tell when you have a quality olive oil. Mm-hmm. Mm. Just what I needed. Mmm. And then I got a little, like a little bit of an after bite from the Calabrian chili oil, like a little aftertaste. Love that. Like, let's slow down. I'm not, I'm still on my first one. By the time I'm done with my first one, she's going to have all these eaten. It sounds like the to you problem. Sounds like you're being a very bad host. <laughs> Just eating, making food for us and then eating it all herself. Hmm. <laughs> your fave literally, what does your fave do? Your fave buys Wonder Bread. And serves Wonder Bread on a paper plate. With, um, with cold, hard butter. Isn't that the worst when, like, you're in a restaurant and they bring out bread and the butter's cold? Like, how do you spread it? What were they thinking? They weren't. Mm-mm. We would never do such a thing here. Never. Honestly... You know what we would do? We would melt the butter and paint it on the bread for you guys. Which, believe it or not, we are going to do a little bit of that for our next little bread appetizer. So you guys stay tuned. Yeah, Melissa's really making the most out of this loaf of bread. We are going to get as many tutorials for you as possible with one loaf. Hey. We're really giving. Guess what? Sometimes people need some ideas for appetizers. You know? And bread is the easiest one, to be quite honest. Maybe next time we'll show you how to bake the bread. Oh, let's not get carried away now. <laughs> mm -mm. On that note, please let me be and enjoy my bread in peace. Hopefully for our next how-to, I'll be a little bit more high energy. Real high girl shit. <laughs>